What's going on guys? Today I'll be going over a Red Dead Redemption 2 online money exploit. But before I get in the video, if you haven't checked out my channel before, I talk about video games, specifically games like Red Dead Redemption 2, um, Red Dead Online, glitches, exploits, things like that. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, definitely head over to my channel and consider subscribing. But other than that, getting into it, glitch is going to be at Braithwaite Manor, and basically what you're going to want to do in this glitch is head over to the mansion, which is over here, and Braithwaite's below roads. So with this glitch, you're going to want to head right into the mansion type thing, and you're going to want to pick up an item. There's usually rum on that table right there, or there's fine brandy right here as well. It doesn't really matter. It's when you pick up. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is head up these stairs right here and head into the room right here and grab some jewelry. And this glitch is kind of weird, so if you actually run out of the house and go a certain distance, you can, um, or the jewelry just kind of randomly respawns, and it just continues to do so if you just keep leaving the house to a certain distance, going back in, taking the jewelry, etc., etc. If you keep doing that, the jewelry will keep respawning, and there's a very easy way to get easy money, and it is a glitch slash exploit. And so in order for this to work, you have to do what I just did right there. And I'll go over specifically like how much time this takes, how much profit you can make per hour, as well as the quickest way to do it. So the quickest way to do it is to obviously sprint the whole time. This helps. And another thing that will help is jumping over the railing like this, sprinting straight out the door and then getting right on your horse. And you're going to want to park your horse probably closer than I did just to make it a little bit quicker. And then if you run right around this little circle right here in the sidewalk, that's on the only distance you have to run to. And one thing you don't want to do is run into barrels or whatever, like I just did right there. This might be the most annoying thing at Red Dead with your horse. But if you pretty much run straight there and straight back, you shouldn't run into anything. And you'd rather park your horse right right in. And then if you keep doing it in this way, it should only take about 30 seconds roughly or so to go up get the jewelry, go outside, run around the circle, come back in. Should take you probably less than 30 seconds. I think my quickest time was about 20 and my longest was about 30, even with like falling off my horse and stuff. So anyways, right here, I'm gonna fast forward this um, to where I actually get all the jewelry I can. And then I'm gonna go over to the fence and sell it. I'm gonna do some um, time, you know, show you guys how long this takes as well as how much profit you can make per hour. Alright guys, so for the next part of this glitch, you're actually going to want to head over to the fence, and the fence is actually above roads, it's pretty much a straight shot to get there, you don't actually have to follow the red path, and it'll actually make it a lot quicker, and actually while I'm on the way there, um, one thing to note, I accidentally ran into the guards with my horse and trampled one of them, and if you do that, they're all going to kill you, so uh, definitely be careful of that, because they kind of get in the way, they're kind of annoying, and if you know they kill you, and or if you end up killing all of them, it's just kind of a waste of time, and kind of gets in the way of everything but anyways very quickly i'm gonna go over how long it actually takes you to do this and then also how uh, much money you can get potentially per hour so basically there's three pieces of jewelry that spawn a necklace a watch a bracelet and all together you could sell them for a total of 38 dollars and 75 cents because each of these you can only stack up to five of them and um, there's three of them so if you do the math it's 38 dollars 75 cents and it took me approximately seven and a half minutes, probably a little bit less than that, probably closer to seven, to actually get um, each piece of jewelry. So, or not each piece of jewelry, all 15 pieces of jewelry. So that actually didn't take very long. That took about a minute to drive to the fence and a minute back. So that adds up to a total of nine, or roughly around nine or 10 minutes, kind of depending on how quick you do everything and if you actually kill any guards or anything like that. And then it, in total per hour, you can make about $232 per hour. And it, you could probably do this a lot quicker. And once you get the hang of it, I think you actually do this almost twice as quick. So you can get anywhere from like 200 to like $400 roughly per hour if you're doing this correctly. But other than that, guys, that's really it for this glitch slash exploit. Uh, let me know what you guys think of it. I recently found this one, it's really good. I found out a way to kind of like master it, kind of make it a lot quicker, which is super great and super interesting. But other than that guys, that's really it for this video. Like I said before, if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell for updates, tricks, tips, tricks, guides, and exploits about Red Dead Online, as well as other games that I play. But other than that guys, thanks for watching.